Are you tired of losing all the time in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and want to improve? Look no further. I have a comprehensive guide for you to get good and win that first place position. You can trust me with this guide because I have completed the game with 3 starred trophies meaning I've gotten first place in every single race and cup. I also have every unlockable in the game too. But before we start the guide, only 4.7% of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell to watch the latest uploads. First of all, to improve your performance on the track, you must take in consideration of the stats of characters and vehicle part combinations. In order to check your stats, press the plus button or start button in the cart part combination menu. It will display all stats of the current combination. What does each stat mean, you may ask? Speed means how fast your vehicle can go. Acceleration means how long it will take you to get to top speed. Weight means the amount of effect for both how far you drift off course when you power slide and how much you are affected by other drivers that bump into you. Handling represents the capacity of a combination to make small turns. This means that the higher the handling is, the better the turns are. This implies to drifting and cornering. Traction means the amount of grip on road surfaces and how much you will slip on ice. So the higher the traction stat is, the better control you have on the road. Almost every character has their own unique base stats and that there is a large difference in choosing characters of different weight classes. There are six different weight classes in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Very light, light, medium, medium heavy, heavy, and very heavy. This may be a lot, but let's focus on the three main weight classes, light, medium, and heavy. If you choose a light character, their vehicle size appears small and their stats mainly favor acceleration over speed along with handling and traction over weight. Medium characters, on the other hand, vehicles appear to be mid-size with their stats being more balanced overall. Now for heavy class characters, their vehicles appear to be large with the exceptions of Metal Mario. Gold Mario and Pink Gold Peach because all those characters belong in the heavy class but just have medium sized vehicles. Heavy character stats favor speed over acceleration and weight over handling and traction. It's very important to take into consideration of the stats of characters and vehicle part combinations you are using for racing as it will give you an edge over your opponents, such as if you're getting spammed with many items, high acceleration can help you gain speed fast so that you can get back to drift boosting and doing tricks. Or if you just want to get ahead in the race, you'll want high speed stats. It's very important to choose a combination that best fits your playstyle. Now, before we get into item strats, you must understand the item distribution in this game. Item distribution is dictated on how far away the drivers are from the one in first place. This means that if one in first place is very far away from the competition, everyone else will more likely to get better items, such as more triple items, stars, bullet builds and golden mushrooms. Now if you're in first place there are only a certain amount of different items you will get. The items you will almost guarantee to get in first place are coins, bananas, and green shells. More rare items you will get in this position are bombs and super horns. If you get a super horn you will be able to deflect a blue shell. This information is mostly useful assuming you're playing with items set to normal. If it's on frantic then everyone in the race or battle will have more powerful items overall. You might be thinking, 
How should I use items to the best of their abilities? Well, let's start with triple items. It pains me to see some people spam all three items all at once, which you shouldn't because of invincibility frames, which are given when somebody is hit by an item, which lasts for about 1.5 seconds, unlike in the original Mario Kart 8 on Wii U. Also, when spamming triple mushrooms, you boost for a shorter amount of time rather than using them after each end of mushroom boosts. This information should apply when you receive a crazy A. Now let's talk about how you can use each item efficiently. If you have triple mushrooms, you should use them for taking shortcuts if possible to get ahead. Now for triple red shells, you should consider visibility frames when throwing them. This implies to any other offensive item such as green shells, boomerangs, bombs, and fire flowers. Now if you are in first place, if you hit a double item box with empty item slots, you are guaranteed to have at least one defensive item along with a coin. But make sure that you have the coin in the first slot because if your defensive item is in the first slot, someone with a boot item could steal it and leave you exposed to red shells. Next, we will be talking about the utilization of minimaps. If you don't have the minimap turned on, turn it on by going into the pause menu and press X or the designated button to enable the map. Enabling the map allows you to see where all your opponents are on the track. The map is also useful for seeing when blue shells appear too. So if you're in first place, you can prepare to either take the blow or block it using a super horn. If you're currently using smart steering and auto accelerate, please turn it off. Here are reasons why you should. First, smart steering prevents you from taking numerous off-road shortcuts. It slows you down too much on turns and edges. Turning off smart steering helps you improve your driving, forcing you to learn how to stay on the track and plan your drifts better. Auto accelerate prevents you from throttling your speed, so turning it off is for the best. So how should you drift properly? First off, you should plan your drifts way ahead of turns so that you can calculate how hard you should drift and how long it will be. Doing so will allow yourself to get better charges thus longer boosts. Time trials is vital on improving your driving skills and knowledge of each track. When playing on time trials, try to beat all the staff ghosts and your previous times. It also helps you traverse through tracks a lot more smoothly. You should challenge yourself. How might you challenge yourself, you might ask? You can do so by stop choosing easy and simple tracks like Baby Park or a Sight Bike Arena and more difficult tracks such as one of the three Rainbow Roads, Rumble Volcano, or Bone Dry Dunes. Choosing difficult tracks will eventually make you a better driver by mentally conditioning yourself to have heightened alertness and improve your reaction times. Also, start to play more of 200cc. It will further help with reaction times and uh, speaking of which, Alright now listen up, finally I will explain how to race on 200cc. Most people don't like 200cc because they tend to go too fast, or crash into walls, or even fall off the course. I have solutions for problems like those. When racing on 200cc, don't use the same habits and strats for this speed class. You'll have to adjust to the higher speeds. You can do so by drift boosting when you need to, not all the time. 
along with pulling tricks off of ramps, sometimes for the sake of maintaining control. Also, know how much handling your vehicle combination has. My last tip for 200cc is keep playing on the speed class, practice it on time trials, and just have the motivation to improve and not hesitate to experiment. I hope you take this information into consideration and help you win that first place spot. If you have any questions pertaining to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, leave a comment down below. Also, leave a like if this video was helpful on improving your Mario Kart 8 performance. Thanks for watching.